I knew the substitutions would be vital. I and mean, as the game was going on and more it was going nil nil, I was like, Yala, you're going to come on and win the game for us. I know what the boys are like, you know, everyone riled me up, you know, to make sure that I was still on it. If it had been me, I'd have probably played him. Yannick coming on made such a difference. And Brighty said to me, we got this, Steve. As a player, you get a sense, even now off the pitch, where you think something's about to happen. I nudged him and said, we've got him, we've got him. And you just felt in that moment that the tide had turned. Then comes the result, it's towards towards Bart, off the line by Moxie. Here we go, this one is coming to the boil now. Crystal Palace can counter. And the hair stood up on the back of my neck. In that moment, I knew that we had them. Velassi's got across to the left to have a go at Calderon. Here he is. Now the delivery to Aguero, Everton! Wilfred Zaha might just have had the biggest save of his Crystal Palace career. Stage. Oh, there's a small section behind that goal going absolutely bananas, but the rest of this stadium have been stunned. It was unreal. I can remember just staring into the crowd and just everyone just going crazy. director's box erupts and the fans erupts. I'd literally never seen him head the ball ever. Diving head off, rare diving head off. Wilfred takes the game by the scruff of the neck. Dickachai. It's amazing. That night was crazy. Yeah, night to remember. Special, man. Sheer euphoria. That was something else, man. I can't remember the goal. I can just remember the excitement and just going crazy in the director's box and, and sort of thinking, oh dear, we shouldn't be doing this. <laughs> Better sit down quick. Yeah, it's a, it's a great moment. And I remember just running down the pitch. It was wild. But as I was running, what I noticed was a lot of the Brighton fans started leaving. That is an incredible sight. I am really shocked. Surely they should be staying behind for the end of the game where their team stay on the pitch. That is the ultimate satisfaction you can get as a player, that you've just pissed off 30,000 Brighton fans. And I just remember thinking, if I could just freeze one moment in my life, I think that would have been it. He has been the difference here, along with his goalkeeper, actually. It felt so good. It felt so good shutting them up. Scoring that goal was just amazing, man. And then the fans were right there running and celebrating. It was just, that was an unbelievable night, man. Believe it or not, I, I relived that night sometimes. Like, I watch YouTube and try to relive that night sometimes because it was unreal, man. And the way he took his two goals was, was incredible, man. The second one was just unreal, the way he just lashed it into the roof of the net. And as we were going back up, I said to the Gabs, I said, we're going to Wembley, Gabs, and Gabs are yes, we are. There's no chance they're going to beat us here. We see the game out. That's it. Some said it was mission impossible, but Wilfred Zaha stepped up to take Crystal Palace to Wembley. A shot in the £120 million game at Wembley. To take his spoiled club through to the final of the playoffs, away at your arch rivals and score the, the goals he did and the way he did. Yeah, you know, massive credit to Wilf. He produced the goods that night and that's what top players do. They produce the goods when it matters. He decided he was going to be Glenn Murray in that game. Such was his love for the club. I think they did feel they'd kind of won it already. So ramming it down their throat with those goals from Wilf was fantastic. Standing next to Martin Long, we, we were just cheering the Palace fans. We were cheering the players and uh... Soaked it up, the atmosphere was brilliant. What a moment, and just all the tension of the last sort of 10 games, I think it was just lifted in that, that, that moment. It was like being a kid, it was so exciting. It's not just the fact that we beat them, it's the fact that we beat them so well. 26,000 people saying, stand up if you hate Palace, 
actually makes me feel quite good that somebody cares that much about us, you know, and that rivalry is great and I'm sure it's one that's going to be continued. And one way or another, that club is going to get into the Premier League. Hopefully we're still there to play them. I thought the boys ran over in the second half. I thought we were stronger and wanted it more. I just, I couldn't be more proud of them. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that excitement, I couldn't contain it, man. It was crazy. To win a playoff semi-final is always sweet, but to win it in the backyard of your biggest rivals, well, that is priceless. A proper performance. We got the ultimate, the ultimate outcome, which was to beat them on their soil. Talk about character, and that's why they've been able to dig deep and grind out a victory over the two legs. For me, it was one of the best moments wearing a Palace shirt. For the fans, it's certainly a moment that they will never forget. We're going Wembley. It means the world to me. I played for Palace for like 10 years, so doing this for Palace is just, just perfect. What about Ian Holloway? He is the playoff specialist. He thrives on it, doesn't he? And he gets that siege mentality with his players within the dressing room. Watford in the final, what do you make of that? They're a fantastic team. Um, so are we. And for all of us, could there have been a better night beating that team, you know, and getting to Wembley? Unbelievable, isn't it? I mean, Everybody wrote us off, didn't they? You know, the bad, sorry, the bad run that we had. Everybody wrote us off, but that's what it's about, isn't it? They stuck with us. We had bad times, and you know, we're going to Wembley now. So we've got one game, we've got a shot to get back to Big Team. Just tell us about the T-shirt. Ah, he's my roommate, isn't he? So, I've been rooming with him for a year and a half now. Uh, it's just, he's just one of the good guys, isn't he? I feel absolutely devastated. I've been there myself, I know what he's feeling. So, hopefully we can get in the Premier League for him. Talk to me, Dave. Two goals today. Hey, thanks. Talk to me, bro. I've got nothing to say, mate. Nothing to say. I'm just fucking going Wembley, mate. That's, yeah, what, that's what I'm talking about, Rambo. What did I say to you? What did I say to you? Hey. Uh, was, well, the thing, Yarlow, obviously, he had been dropped as well, and he was in a bit of a bad place about it, and he was missing out on the games, and it was eating away at him, and he played a massive part when he came on, and he was just going around with his camera. This is a crazy moment, you know? Yeah, no, that's, that, that's still a classic video to today, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs>